Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rajendra campaign. We are going into chapter 3, which is called Rising Star. Was it? When news spread of my subjugation of Sri Lanka, our enemies grew quiet. Only the Pandyas of Madure still flail their arms at us, being too proud to accept that their ancient line is now but a cub next to the Chola tiger. With stability secured and the Chalukyas weakened, I have been given a rare opportunity to build upon the foundation that my father laid. I am not averse to war, and Sri Lanka taught me that even some atrocities can be justified for the greater good. But my empire will not be one of violence alone. War is but one tool in the arsenal of an empire. We will employ every weapon that we have to expand our influence across both land and sea, and our first act will be one of diplomacy. There is a rumor out of the Far East. Surya Varman, Emperor of the Khmer, is said to seek an alliance with us. Such a pact would be a great step towards domination of this region. Indeed, the star of the Chola Empire has only begun to rise. All right. Manager Jackson is waiting for instructions. <clears throat> your ships take damage when traversing the deep ocean, but there may be a way of improving your shipbuilding technology. Rajendra is initially restricted to the Castle Age and can support a population of 150. There are many routes to victory in this mission of empire building. You can warmonger or exercise soft power in the form of trade and diplomatic deals, but some foes can only be subjugated with a good thrashing. Strength breeds strength. Building up your empire by gaining more prestige will unlock new technologies. This includes the Imperial Age, which is unlocked when you have 5 prestige points. Vengi is your puppet from the start. You can command its forces to attack using flares. When vassalized, Sri Lanka will send you resources and provide modest military support, but requires protection from pirate attacks. Living in a time before the invention of gunpowder, Rajendra cannot trade any, train any gunpowder at units except for cannon galleons. Rajendra's Chola Empire controls much of the Indian South and will be able to strike out in all directions once the Empire gives its word. It gives the word. For now, however, Rajendra is waiting for an envoy to arrive from across the ocean with a gift from Sur Surya Varman of the Khmer, Khmer Empire. To the north lies the Shalukian Empire, which remains your most formidable enemy. Their armies of chakram throwers, elephants, shrivamsha riders, and uh, archers are biding their time. For now. Two Chola allies exist in Vengi to the northeast and Sri Lanka to the south. Both, however, have their weaknesses. The Chalukyas have long eyed Vengi and may seek to take it over, and the Sri Lankas are too weakened by war to be a powerful ally. The Pandya dynasty of Madurai is causing trouble and may need to be dealt with swiftly. But even if subdued, this prideful dynasty may not prove a trustworthy ally. They will primarily send crossbowmen, elephant dodges, and warships your way. To the far southeast lies the empire of Srivijaya, a wealthy middleman in the trade between India and China. They could become either a strategic ally or a powerful ally or a powerful foe. Lastly, Bengali pirates plague the waters of the empire, like a nasty mold, <clears throat> and they may prove difficult to root out entirely. But you may need to deal with them to protect your maritime trade. All right. <clears throat> we have come a long way, but our journey is not over yet. We must brave the seas and bring Emperor Surya Varman's gift to Rajendra Chola. Okay. So I'll bring the envoy and the grand chariot safely to Rajendra Chola, either by following the shallows coast in the north or by venturing across the sea towards the Andaman Islands. The envoy and Grand Chariot must both survive. What can go wrong here? So if we travel in deep seas, we take damage. Sailing across the open ocean will be hard on our ships. But the shallow waters along the coast are infested by Bengali pirates. We should prepare for an arduous journey either way. Let me just test. Okay, that's not deep sea. Is this deep sea? Deep waters? Oh, that's deep waters. Cool. Um, 
We need to get there. Wait. I am in deep water. YOLO, YOLO. Let's go. I'm just going to right-click there and see what happens. The rough seas are damaging the hulls of our ships. We should make landfall on the Andaman Islands to repair before we continue. I'm just YOLOing. I'm not sure if this is clever though. It's probably not clever. Bring a unit to Pal Lumber to scavenge wood. Protect the chariot. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, we cannot lose ships. Preferably. <clears throat> so far so good. It's the envoy. He has to survive as well. This is fine. I don't have too much wood though. Oh. You have salvaged wood from the sunken pirate ships. Perfect. We could use that. <laughs> Restarting 3, 2, 1. Hey, where's the faith? Okay, I should prioritize repairing the transport ship as well. So far, so good. So everything except the uh, clear water is deep fish, uh, deep sea, pretty much. Okay. Onwards we go. Maybe not send the. Transport ship in the front. Oh, this is still shallow water, though, right? So. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. This is fine. Not sure how far I'm, I have to go, but I guess I could. Uh, not all of it, just one of the villagers. <clears throat> Run! <laughs> I think with the, my pet, my my choice here has been a bit of a wild one um, but I believe that we will survive we will die anyway because of your OHP we can buy some time well this is fine I chose the safest path this is fine I was never worried Okay, chariot, deliver. Envoy, go talk. <clears throat> this is an exquisite gift. I have heard of your emperor, Suryavarman, and would be happy to consider an alliance. You may rest in my palace for now. We have much to discuss. Hey. An alliance with a great foreign power will boost our imperial prestige. Sorry. But it is only a we must expand our influence across both land and sea so that the Chola Empire can reach true greatness. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so, we start with three prestige. We got a lot of resources now, so we can start booming. Um, improve the Chola Empire's prestige by completing side quests until you have 10 prestige points. As you complete objectives or progress through the scenario, new objectives will gradually unlock. 
You can pick whatever quests you like, and each successful quest will give you one prestige. Secondary objectives. Vassalize Madurai by capturing its castle. To capture the castle, you must damage it to less than 1000 HP. Destroy the western Shalukian docks to deprive them of their fishing waters. Steal the Shalukian relic and place it in one of your monasteries. Okay. Uh, our way to get Imperial Age was to get 5 prestige points. Uh, single Bengi to attack. Purple. Uh, there. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack at this time. Allow us to replenish our force, and then we will go wherever you are. Fine, I'll allow it. Oh, that was quick. Destroy the Western Shalikion docks. Okay. But then again, I want cannon gallons to do that. Capture the castle in Madurai. Maybe we'll work on the castle first. That might be the one that makes the most sense. Or might be the easiest one to accomplish right off the bat. I think the, the, these types of missions are like... They're not as straightforward. Uh, objectives have changed. <clears throat> okay. As usual, I'm probably going to rely a bit on elephant arches. They're just too damn good. Okay, <laughs> what fleet do we have? Not much to work with. We have another castle here. For some reason. But we have to keep that safe. On the Bengali pirates. This is fine. Ooh. Well, Bengi army is still quite thin, sir. So again, as usual, I think we just have to focus on eco at the start. Get that economy up and running so we can actually produce units to do things. We'll try to use our fleet to help defend for the time being. It should be easy. Or well, possible, rather. Hmm. That bridge is broken. Or destroyed. That's fine. Do I want to add fish, maybe? Sure. Why not? More eco, the merrier. Wait, oh, that's... Oh, ooh. That's from the guy that... I want to become friends with. Our trade vessels are under constant threat from Bengali pirates. Talk so slow. If you could build a castle in the heart of their operations, the trade guilds would be forever grateful. Build a castle in the flat area on the Andaman Islands. Okay. We need a little bit more stone for that. But that should also be doable. Bengi, stop wasting, man. Okay, you can go there instead. Sounds like a plan. So we need 40 warships to get one more prestige. So we can do 40 warships. Uh, and build a castle there. That will bring us to Imperial Age. Given that we don't lose anything else. So we'll try that. We have a 10 population. I can already go for the castle. We'll just go for it. Okay, that's good. Uh, Tal, I can share it after I'm done with this. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's repair it first. It's a little bit low HP. To travel back. All the orange is there. I don't want to waste ships either because... I want to build up to number 40. Um, do I still lose HP by going the deep? Waters? Should not lose anymore. Let's 
find out. Wouldn't really make sense, would it? Not sure if this is a safe path either. We'll try. That's in peril, eh, ships. Oh, we are losing uh, HP still in the ocean. Mm. Okay, we st should still be able to make it there. Question now is if they will do any aggression on it. Oh. Cano! Okay, I just wanted to chase that. All right, all right. I think I want another castle as well on my own area, but I need to get those away from the stone. The mm. Vengas are quite weak. Hey, four prestige. Let us scour the seas and search every coast. It is time to root out these parasites for good. Sounds like a plan. We need one more point to get to Imperial Age. Whoa, getting attacked. Oh, I'm fighting. Ew. I was not oh, I have ballista elephants. I didn't realize. Uh, what buildings do I have? Not a lot to work with, to be fair. Quite annoying that the siege buildings are attacking me. I barely do damage to them. What? Okay, this I did not see coming. I will admit. Hope the elephants don't come there. <gasps> no. Go away. Let's get murder holes. I don't trust. I don't trust this. <clears throat> Need one more prestige. For the warships. Oh, defeat the Bengali pirates. We need cannon gallons for that, though. Yeah, we'll get there. The Prometheus sent raiders across the Tungabhadra River, knowing that we cannot yet afford another full-scale war. Or if we build a fortress in our border, we should be able to deal with their raids easily. A fortress. So we got a castle here, I guess. It says fortress, but I imagine... Oh, yeah, it's a castle. Flagged area. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And we did weaken Madurai fairly well now. Uh, in the villages there. Okay, I should focus on something now. The build, that is. Let's go for the warships now. Just to get Imperial Age. Is Kano really beating up your sh sh uh, ships? Yes, they were. I'm not proud of it. Yeah, we have a healthy eco now. We add some docks. Your Imperial Highness, while constructing your new armada, we discovered a way to strengthen the hulls of our warships. Perhaps sure. Be of interest to you. Yes. 
Hmm. Marak column, vessels enabled. Researching at the dock will cause your ships no longer take damage from sailing through deep water. Ah. So how do I research it? Researching it at the dock. Ah, there we go. 500 good. Uh, 400 gold? Sure. That's gonna help. <coughs> We're ready to drop another castle as well. Okay. Alright, looking good. Oh, we lost that. Not looking good. Take it back. I'm still going for that. They keep killing my ships. With this gas and everything. I actually have no gold income whatsoever. Okay, ships no longer take damage. Good. Warship numbers are climbing. What? Actually, I might have to fight on water. That is quite annoying. Where's more gold? Take here. They have a lot of gold there as well. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack. Useless. Allow us to replenish our forces, and then we will go wherever you ask. Useless teammate. Uh, ships 19 out of 20. It wouldn't take too long to build up, but they keep attacking us. My ports are a buzz with tales of your imperial splendor. You may trade freely in my waters if you wish. Well, thanks for the offer, sir. Do I get prestige there as well? A zero out of one hundred trade journeys. Ah, one hundred trade journeys. <laughs> Let me build the warships first. We're getting a lot of options here. A lot of options here to do things. This point is more like, what do I even pick? Uh, 30. Okay, don't need that anymore. We're gonna be imp soon as well. We can get imp upgrades. I need more army here. What? What? How did they lose it? How did they take this castle? I don't understand. Okay. Wait, I lost the prestige. Steal the looking relics. Capture the castle in Vengi. Oh. I guess I have to have unit on the flag. Ew. Warships, let's go. Wait, I'm not imp anymore now. <laughs> Damn it! I was that was supposed to give me imp. And I don't have it's not I don't have the safety I think to trade properly yet. Okay, what's the next one to go nice get nicer to imp? Oh god. This is becoming more awkward than planned. I guess I could engage here. Maybe I could engage here. I just cannot fight the castle yet. Everything else should on paper be fine. Yeah, I'm just a peaceful villager. Uh, just peaceful villagers, chopping trees, nothing to see there. Ah, wait, wait, we were what? No, why am I not making skirms? Skirms would be perfect here. 
against what he's building. Legit the perfect unit. Okay, that's fine. Wait, did purple betray me? Our ranks have grown too thin. Uh, it doesn't didn't say anything about betrayal, did they? I don't think so. I think he just lost. They just lost ground and they reclaimed the castle. Eighty villagers. That's enough. Okay, I think we can actually trade nicely. I don't even have a health key for trade cogs. That's how rarely I used them. Okay. We're holding. I like how they're just passing the villagers. Yeah, considering the units they made, actually, skirmishes is like the perfect unit. I don't mind losing a couple extra vills there. Okay, so here it's just don't we cannot destroy the castle yet. I could land rams, I guess. Oh, true. You have to lower the HP of the castle down to 1,000 to to claim it. True, 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 true. Your father is a great patron of the trade guilds, Emperor Legendra. It is my hope that you will continue to grow. Just imagine the prestige you will receive in the largest trading fleet on the high seas. He talks so slow. Nice. Alright, uh, what else do we have? Uh, the relic, the western docks, we could work on that as well. Build a castle in the flag area, trade journeys, trade. Oh, build 40 trade cogs. What? I'm down to three again? Oh, you need to have warships alive! Ooh! Ah, shit! <laughs> I keep losing my prestige. Oh, no. Oh no. God damn it! I thought it was like one one time research, but I guess it makes sense that you have to do it multiple times. Okay, let's go. Attack there. <laughs> They're not listening to me anymore. Uh, wait, I lost the units here? Wait, wait, how did they suddenly get so many units? Okay, this is actually a bit more tricky than I first anticipated. How this would be. Okay, now we just need to get this castle down to a thousand HP again. That should be doable with this, so let's switch it back our focus to water. There's also population limitations here. It makes this a bit awkward. Okay, that's a more safer trade route than the docks up here. Hmm. You may really have to make a decision of prioritizing water land first. Yeah, I agreed. Also, where did, but Green suddenly had like a lot of ships appear. We didn't have those ships earlier. How many trade trips do we have so far? In theory, what I should do is build a dock here. What you can do, build a dock here, add the trade cog, and delete all your other docks. Because then the trade cog would just trade back and forth. But it's uh, it's kind of... I wouldn't say cheating, but... I'm using the AI mechanic. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 1000 HP, we're almost there. And after that, I guess we just want to make sure we hold. There we go. Uh, attack here. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack. I wonder why. Allow us to replenish our I'm going to go and wall this off. We will go wherever you ask. Our ranks have grown too thin to mount an attack. How is the warship doing? 25. You we just need one more. I shall send my army there at once, Your Highness. Noise. You just need one more um, prestige, and then we get Imperial Age. So now I'm wondering, do I lose Imperial Age as well if I lose the prestige? I wonder. I also keep losing ships. 
They're coming from this angle. Maybe we can do this. No, I need stone. We can still add like two towers here to, to deal with or do damage to the ships that are passing here. Okay, that should be enough to hold up here. Population. What? Uh, not some bills here? 55 bills. Is that enough? Okay, we need eight more ships, then we get to Imperial Age. We have the trade trips happening as well. We need a 10 prestige to win, right? Yeah. Do I just keep Eunice Garrison here to do this? That's nice. We will get uh, guard towers and... Uh, what's it called again? Heated shot. name. As well, and that will help us do damage there. Not sure why one trade cog is choosing this path. All the others are not. Uh, I need to build another eight ships. And we need another 30, no, 29 trade cogs. It looks like we have stabilized the situation a little bit now. Gold, oh, there is gold, I guess. Yeah, there's plenty of gold. Now I gotta be careful with my population. Four more warships and we can go... We are in Imperial Age. Again, now the question is just, do we keep it? Give me Imp. I have five prestige. What? I swear it said five. Wait. This includes the Imperial Age, which is unlocked when you have five prestige points. With our prestige oh. growing by the day, there we go. It will not be long until my father's dream is realized. And the Jola dynasty rules both the land and the sea. Give me imp. There we go. Nice. What? I lost prestige again? How? Oh, I lost the warship. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least age, uh, Imperial Age is unlocked, so that's gonna help a lot. Yeah, I think that's what you wanna do on this. You just wanna unlock Imperial Age ASAP. And then take it from there. Nice. Now build a castle there. With Imperial Age, that castle will be super safe. Hopefully. Yeah, we have five prestige again. Obviously, I can make a few more warships, so I don't always play with just one. Okay, they come all the way from here, but it looks of it. Can I trade with this one? I guess it has to be the blue. That gold. Fight! Help! Oh no. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, I guess Green will not make ships anymore because he doesn't have docks. So I could prepare to attack the left side to get rid of those. Caravan for faster trade? It doesn't impact. Yes. Yes, I should. For some reason, I've, I was kind of thinking it only affects... Um, mark, trade cards. Trade cards. I'm clearly wrong. 
Okay, we can actually get elite elephant dodges now. This now this Imperial Age is what should be the unlocking the true potential to uh, hold everything. We also have gold income now. We can even do the siege elephant. That's gonna be sweet. Yeah, we want a castle over here. What would you say to a deepening of our relations? Why not? I would be delighted to have such a renowned junior partner. I shall send my army there at once. What did I unlock now? Looks like the warship thing has disappeared. No, it's still there. I don't know what I just unlocked. There's so many secondary objectives now. Maintain an alliance with Srivuja. But how? Like what is the deciding but I maintain an alliance or not? Wait, they have they have siege elephants as well, Imperial Age units. We need some rune swordsmen to deal with the elephant just. Units objective change? Oh, warships. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, we have galleon on the way as well. Cannon galleon here can take out this. That should defeat the ba the Bengali pirates. Now we can also work on this cast even from water. So let's do that. What oh, has a transport? Oh, isn't he neutral at the moment? Is he? Put him at ally. Oh, that was it. Well, my sure. That was the easiest prestige of my life. Uh, trade journey is about to be a hundred. Not uh, trade cogs. Do I even want to spend population on trade cogs now? I think not. I think not. Oops. You guys were supposed to build a castle there. Uh, uh. Ah, I lost the warship. But we're gonna build cannon gallons, it's fine. This looks fine as well. Where are they coming? Are they like landing? What can you cross here? I'm 100% sure. Where did those come from? Oh! Oh, they have a sneaky base. But now blue is helping me. Let's go. Okay, that's nice. Magnificent. I would like to see the Chalukians try to get past this fort. Agreed. And build a trebuchet now as well. Very nice. Alright, we have seven out of ten prestige. Uh trade cogs, trade journey will be eight. Destroy the western docks. We're gonna get to that very soon. Turn the city against us. Their armies are now marching the river. Anyone who is willing to stand up to Rajendra Chola is a worthy ally. Let us join the restore the glory of the Bengali. For years I have played at being the benevolent diplomat and hesitated to vanquish my foes. Yet this is my fate. To see all that I have worked for come undone, like a proud tree shattered by lightning. <laughs> of course it is. For what does kindness bring except another reason for your lessons to hate you? We got betrayed! Wait, let me see. So... Uh, our... Da -da 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 -da. A disaster has struck. Your Highness, the Chalukyas have installed their own puppet in Vengi. The army is now marching across. Can I take it back, though, would be the next question. Can I take Vengi back again? I, I can, yeah, it says so. Capture the cast and Vengi. For years, I've play played at being the benevolent, benevolent diplomat and hesitant to vanquish my foes. Uh, 
Okay, so he's just learning that mercy is not a, a good idea. <laughs> okay, let's uh, spill tra traps here. We can take control over that with traps. Let's get... I don't know wood for that. Yet, anyway. Okay, blue is helping me take out this as well now. Appreciate it. Need gold. Come on, there we go. Need cannon gallons. Uh, we can also take... Oh, 100 trade journeys completed. We can take this castle now from the water as well. Oh, sheesh. True, now they will start coming there. Mm. Man, enemies are annoying. <laughs> I need army though to support my traps. What? Wait, am I gonna... Wait, if I lose this, will I lose the prestige? Man, this, this is so annoying. <laughs> So, so annoying. Uh, live. Give me wood. Can we save it? I think we might save it. Just hit hit this trebuchet. Hit it once. Okay, now we get this castle though, no? No. Wait, what? Was that to destroy the castle? Oh, destroy Madurai. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, at least having blue as an ally seems to be quite nice. We also have destroyed this now. So that is nice as well. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I guess I have to destroy the whole city. At least the castle is down. Oh, it lives! Madurai resigned. Okay. Feed Madurai. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, we just need army to support this now. Take this out from afar. Let's try to take this as well. I expected Madurai to betray me and stonewall them in while they were allies. Really? <laughs> nice. You don't trust anyone, sounds like. Uh, there's four docks to destroy here. Uh, think all the pirates are dead? Pirates, like the torrents of Vashim Ritu. Now nothing remains of them, flotsam and wailing souls. Soon to be Need to keep this alive. Vermin that they aspire to be. Watch the dust come in swarms, but they never make port in my kingdom, Rajendra. I must insist that they make landfall and pay a trade tax to me. Worry not. This is an outrage. Levy taxes on our poor international trade as well. I have never heard of anything so disgraceful. Uh, there's too much going on. Wait, what, what just happened now? Uh. So we defeated the Bengali pirates, so we got a point there. Uh, Emperor Sang Rama, your traders come in swarms, but they never make port in my kingdom. Rajendra, I must insist that they make landfall and pay a trade tax to me. Worry not, it will be a tiny one. Sure, I will extract gold from you as long as you continue to trade with them. How much do they... This is an outrage to levy taxes on our poor international traders. Why have I never heard anything so despicable? must do something your highness i want to see how much gold is being do they just take from my trade or do they comp continuously deplete my gold you said what they take like six gold every now and then what <laughs> they're pretty much draining me from gold completely it's fine i don't want to lose my 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 point yeah this one we couldn't break yet uh, the, I get 28 gold from their dogs. This is fine. I could build trade cogs. We get another point. I'll just build some siege elephants there. Okay, just this one dock. Then we have 
8 and uh, 9 out of 10. And then steal the relic. That could also be an option. But also just taking back the castle is already on the... Oh, they're repairing it. They are repairing it. No bueno. Just need to take it down to a thousand HP. This should be another point. There we go. Nine out of ten. This could also snowball into taking the relic. Although it looks like the right side is actually walled off in water. From what I can tell. Uh, we don't actually have enough. They actually build a decent army there. The easiest way now is to build trade cogs. We need to build 28 more. Capture the castle. I have too much population in ships, but it's a point. Mm. Kinda want elephant archers. Oh, I don't have blast guns, right. That blue shit, that blue is tanking most of it. Then again, oh, well, if I, if I build up like... If I build up like four traps and just charge at the castle, I will take it back as well. So that's also an option. We are population capped. So it's now trade cards, relic, take the castle or defeat Teal. You might actually end up defeating Teal looking at it as well. That would also be an option. I will try to take take back the Vengi castle. Then again, if this is everything Teal has left, we might defeat him from the water. Okay, do we have? Okay, we have. We have a trap. I'm just gonna go for it. We have three siege elephants as well. Just gonna go right click castle. So who do you have to kill to stop the gold siphoning? That's true. Siphoning. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm still getting more gold than I'm losing. So it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. Okay, all my... Oh, there's the, actually they got onto it. I now can also get the traps involved. I might be able to take it down to a thousand. Let's get some elephant archers. I wonder if my gold goes to zero, if they will become mean, uh, mad at me. Should be going, yeah, we, we have three traps here. There's no chance we're not getting this down to a thousand. This should be the last point then. Just need one or two more hits. Alright, prestige accomplished. Here we go, 10 prestige. My and? allies kneel before me, and my enemies shatter against my armor. That great sword which I have fashioned from a mass of human material. Never again will anyone question the might of Rajindra Chola. Hey, There's negative food, you can go negative gold too, right? I, I don't think it would drain me down into the minuses, but you never know. My enemies lie shattered before me, and the Chola Empire stands victorious once more. Why then? Does it feel as if something inside of me is breaking? For years I have sought greatness not only for myself, but for my subjects. I have treated even our rivals with the dignity befitting ancient dynasties. But my softness has only led to setbacks. Only when I unleash devastation upon my enemies, soldiers and civilians alike, do I seem to conjure up any lasting victory. Perhaps my father was right after all. I cannot be both great and benevolent. One virtue must be sacrificed for the other. 
The price for greatness is inevitably corruption. The slow death of everything that I believe in. For a long time, this quandary has sent me into tortuous dreams. It is as if a black seed has been planted in some murky crevasse of my soul. I have ignored it, hid from it, all for naught. Could it be that my fear of corruption was but a sign of my inexperience as a ruler? Something that my father learned to overcome in the harshness of his later years. For if one cannot reach greatness without being corrupted, without giving in to that deep desire to increase one's power by any means available, then is corruption truly a bad thing? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Did you notice the beginning with the Envoy is a reference to the Khmer campaign? I did not notice it, but it makes sense, right? Like, I didn't put uh, connect the dots because I don't remember the Khmer campaign. Trade profit, 5.5k. Pretty solid, actually. Pretty solid. That was interesting. I, I like these types of campaigns because they, they give you... I'm not a bandit. Uh, they give you all the options. Uh, you have you can make different options yourself, and uh, uh, it just gives you more different ways to play the campaigns. I like it. Okay, so to to defeat Teal would have been a lot of work. Actually, they have a lot of buildings and castles and whatnot. I thought it was just this base, but they have a whole base on top as well. I guess this was the passing passing they used. But now the bridge is connected, I guess that happened at the end or only when I they have the castle as well. The teal is also Khmer here. So they a little bit of a I guess they ran out of colors. But cool. That was a nice one. I liked it. All right, that was the chapter three, Rising Star. Coming up next will be the Sacred Waters. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.